assalamu alaikum students today we will discuss future perfect tense so let's see how this tense is structured and where can it be used okay in order to understand future perfect tense first of all we need to see the difference between future continuous and future perfect as you have already done future continuous tense so, so we'll start with this future continuous tense talks about the continuity of an action in future during a period right on the other hand future perfect talks about any action that will or will not complete at some point in future so future perfect tense is interested in either completion or non completion of the task and future continuous tense is, uh, is more interested in continuity of an action during future like in future continuous tense you can say i will be working right so here you are focusing upon the continuity of this action for a time period in future on the other hand um, uh, in future perfect you say i will have completed work by this time next week right so here you are more interested to talk about the completion of the task um, at some time period at some point in future i hope it's clear this difference is uh, perfectly clear to you okay let's move okay now we'll see this concept of future perfect tense through this time diagram here you can see that now is about the present moment and anything before now is past and all that what is after now is counted as future fine it, um, it can be 5 minutes after now it can be 5 centuries after now whatever it will be counted as future right so for example by the end of next week i will have finished my exam so it means that um, we are talking about a specific time moment when um, i will have finished my uh, exams at the end of next week i hope it's clear right now we'll talk about the subject plus um uh, now we'll talk about the structure of future perfect tense we first of all we need to have subject plus to be helping verb will have plus past participle right um, for example uh, you will have finished your report by this time next week right here you can see you is subject will have helping verb finished main verb which is past participle and then object report and this is time marker by this time next week most of the time we use time marker with future perfect tense in negative sentences we only need to add not after will so what will we say you will not have finished your report by this time next week fine in interrogative sentences will will come in the start then uh, subject after that have and then Uh, past participle will you have finished your report by this time next week we'll see the structure of future perfect tense in detail later on okay now let's see some of the more uses of future perfect tense uh, we use future perfect tense to talk about the completed action in future that has a definite end time right we have a definite time marker about the um, action which will complete at some time in future for example i will have spent all my money by this time next year right so you can see here by this time next year this is a definite time right and um, uh, until this point we will have completed this work fine sometimes um, we use future perfect tense to talk about the completed action in future that has no definite time period it means that it's not necessary that all the time you will have a definite time period sometimes you may not have though frequently most of the time uh, you will find definite uh, time marker but sometimes it may possible that you don't use any time marker at all like i will have arrived fine and a future perfect tense is also used to express completion of an action before an another action for example she will have learned chinese before she moves to china it means that this action which is there in future perfect tense it happens before 
this was the first action and then she moves to china so this is how we use future perfect tense to talk about the action which happens before right another action now we'll see how to structure the future perfect tense in detail the, uh, here first of all you need to have subject plus will have plus past participle like in positive sentences you can say i will have worked they will have worked he will have worked she will have worked i hope it's simple right now we'll move towards negative sentences in negative sentences you only need to add not right um you can say i will not have worked they will not have worked she will not have worked or sometimes you can go for contractions you don't want to write full form of will not have in that sense you can write won't have i won't have worked they won't have worked she won't have worked right Okay, now we'll move towards interrogative sentences. In interrogative sentences, first of all, you know very well we need to have helping verb will. After that, subject, then have, then past participle and question mark. For example, will I have worked? Will they have worked? Will she have worked? Fine. sometimes we make questions with where when how long like wh questions so in that sense you you just need to add that question word with helping verb will and rest of the statement would remain the same as it is there in interrogative sentences like you can say where will i have worked when will i have worked how long will i have worked i hope it's clear okay now we'll see how to make the contractions in future perfect tense um you need to be clear that in formal business and academic background we are supposed to write the full form however in informal conversation we are given this liberty to go for the contractions like if it's a formal situation you will write in complete form uh, uh, mr ali will have presented at the conference by end of next month right but if it is contractions what you will do uh, you will contract this uh, will part you will just add apostrophe double l so what will you say i will have into i'll have you will have into you will have we will have into we'll have they will have into they'll have and if you have to go for negative sentences then what will you say they won't have he won't have she won't have i hope it's simple fine let's move now we'll see how to make the past participle in most of the cases we just add ed with the base form of the verb like talk into talked walk into walked sometimes the verbs which are ending in e there we drop e um, there we only add d sorry there we only add d like used into used live into lived fine the verbs which end in y so what we do there um uh, we just drop y and instead we add i e d like cry into cried study into studied and the verbs which end in consonant vowel consonant sound there we double the last letter here, here you can see that clap l a p this is consonant vowel consonant sound so what we need to do here clap into clapped plan into plan and then um, here we were just talking about the regular verbs there are certain irregular verbs as well in term of, uh, which are converted into past participle in a different way like have will be converted into had make into made know into known think into thought there is a long list and you need to memorize them you need to remember them okay let's move Okay, now we'll have some more exercise related to uh, positive, affirmative, negative, interrogative, and negative interrogative statements in future perfect tense. I will have arrived. So you can see how we make the positive sentence, and in negative, I won't have arrived, or you can say I will not have arrived. Interrogative, will I have arrived? Question mark. and negative interrogative won't i have arrived question mark 
I hope it's simple. You are with me. Okay. You will, uh, you will have arrived. You won't have arrived. Or you will not have arrived. Will you have arrived? Won't you have arrived? Question mark. Fine. So this is how there is, uh, um, I have some more examples. You should pause the video. I suggest you and then read all these sentences in detail. Fine. Let's move. Okay, some of the most common mistakes which we can do in future perfect tense, we also need to understand them. Like sometimes to be can be missing. Um, my brother watched the news. So what should you say? My brother will have watched the news. To be is missing here. She gone? Question mark. So what would you say here? Will she have gone? Sometimes to be is incorrect, right? Like he will complete his project by tomorrow but you should say he will have completed his project by tomorrow sometimes the verb is incorrect like uh, she will have do her homework do you think it is correct no it's incorrect so what should you say she will have done her homework the game will have start or the game will have started Yes, the game will have started, right? We are supposed to use past participle here. Sometimes we do mistakes related to uh, spellings, like she will have baked. Here you can see E is missing. So we need to be careful about these frequent mistakes while using the future perfect tense. Okay, let's have some revision once you have understood how to write the future perfect tense. Like Ellie will have completed his project by tomorrow. Ali will not have completed his project by tomorrow. And will Ali have completed his project by tomorrow? Question mark, which I forgot again. So this is how we structure the future perfect tense. Thank you so much for listening. For any query, comment below. And for sure, I'll answer your query. See you in the next lecture with some other good topic. Until then, bye.